to listen to this informative and interactive session, the talk show, which is on the topic from Tamsik to Holistic Living. And how to access this universal life energy. Yes, this universal life energy is very, very important if we want to achieve the highest possibility of ourselves for the expression, the greatest expressions of our unique beauty and purpose of life comes through this universal life energy. And fundamentally, I feel all these spiritual practices, yogic kriyas, meditation, they are all there to awaken the life energy in us to make us more energetic, stable, peaceful and a happier us so that we take better decisions in our life and become more productive in our life. And simply I feel because I have been for 15-20 years doing yoga and meditations and all these yogic kriyas and been into a lot of holistic sciences. So I feel major transformation in my personality, in my thoughts, in the perception of my life, in the perception of what I see in this world. And uh, I feel that's why I'm an advocate. I really recommend yoga and meditation to everybody because uh, uh, what I am today, you are seeing me as an end result, like, you know, and the journey definitely is continuing as a happy queen of Mrs. India, a more stable and a stronger person. And I will tell you a little bit the uh, story about Mrs. India also. It's a very, very strong platform and this has been created by Mrs. Dipali <coughs> Fadnis, our national director. And she herself is an international queen, Mrs. Asia International, and a very strong woman. And she is always in search of role models rather than uh, models because she wants to create role models for the society, women of substance and women of higher conscious level. And her search continues for that. Just to become a role model and to inspire other people in life. I feel that you have to first connect to yourself. You know, all these breathing techniques, this meditation, this is yogic kriyas. This will all help you in the greatest expression of your beauty and your talent and your purpose of life. That's why I feel anything is possible in this world. Nothing is impossible if we connect to this universal life energy. To you, Mrs. Vanita, she is an international yoga therapist, a very well renowned international yoga therapist, and a wellness mentor at Fiki. And especially, like you know, she's a master in vinyasa meditation. And really, it's a pleasure that such a great lady is with us, and she will tell us how to access the universal energy for our well being for attaining the highest possibility of ourselves and to become more peaceful, calmer, more energetic, awakened. So Thank you, Shelly. Good evening, everyone. Namaskar. Uh, we are very lucky to have a beauty queen in our midst, our very own JTP beauty queen. So I'm a role model. <laughs> <laughs> and really, Shelly and I have had many conversations about yoga and she's passionate and she has been advocating and doing it. So she's a personal example of what yoga can do to a person and uh, I think definitely you can say she's a role model. I think the wealth of India and all of you have some opinion of yoga. Yoga is asana, yoga is pranayam, yoga is standing in a headstand, yoga is doing this. So today just to tell you that yoga is literally the basis of everything. Yoga is thought, yoga is action. And from action yoga is literally the fruits in your life because however you think and act, that's how you'll accumulate the fruits in your life. And that's it. But for that you have to walk a path. You have to walk a path. And I want to tell you that it is for everybody. It is not that only someone who's doing a headstand or someone who's doing some difficult looking twisted asan can achieve it. No. Even if you lie in shavasan or sit in child pose and breathe, you are still doing yoga. The only difference is the mindfulness that you bring to the process. Because it's your mind that is creating the way you think, the way you live. So that is the only thing. The, I think the best way to really practice this is to experience it for yourself. So I'd really like you to experience how it is to be mindful, how it is to influence things in your body by doing it. So if all of you can take a comfortable seat and have your feet flat on the ground, much better than the doctor in healing, it's basically heals. Uh, so science lot. says that, in fact, science says that if you practice yoga 
uh, please stay with your eyes closed because I think it's so beautiful to live, really practice yoga and listen to the benefits of it. Science says that if you were practicing yoga, at least 80% of antidepressants would not be necessary. And people who go to visit psychotherapists and psychiatrists would probably not go back again for repeat visits because they would have their own healing in their own hands and not have to depend on anybody, which increases anxiety also. So it's all about the balance of mind, body and spirit. Yes. So not only are you working on your endocrine system, you also work on your lymphatic system, which nothing else works, to remove the toxins. When you talk of tamas, yes. tamas basically starts with the toxins yes. in the body. Again, stay with your eyes closed because I think you should know that yoga says that your brain is in your gut. It's in your stomach. Your That's brain right. is not here. And the only thing that affects this is breathing. Mindful breathing controls the way you feel because it's this brain here which is sending signals to the brain on top where you think your head is. And that is telling you how to feel. That is controlling you because that tells you today I feel angry, today I feel anxious, today I feel I'm not good enough, today I feel negative. So when you can influence the actual brain of the body where yoga says your brain is, then you have complete control over yourself. It's as simple as deciding I will be as happy as I decide to be. Nothing will influence me. I'm not saying your life will become perfect. Whatever is happening will continue to be. So that is a great, great, great And actually great I think so new cells are more born and like you know. New cells I'm, are born all the time. Ah, maybe the new cells, so are, the new born cells are born in a more conducive, more positive, more positive way. Way. I feel in a more healthy way. way. That's what it is. So, share it with you. So, in conclusion, I want to say that we all are beautiful, but if we are not healthy from within, not happy from within, which is our natural state, it is a natural state. Someone can be in a wheelchair and still be health, health, happy and healthy. So, to create that natural state inside, it's beautiful. Why should you pop a pill? Why should you take drinks? Why should you run out and buy clothes and say someone will say I'm looking nice and then feel happy about it? That should well up from within. And that is what yoga can do to you. It can yoga is not only cosmetic beauty, it's awesome. Thank you very much. So like you know, I feel everybody is spreading awareness about you know diseases maybe these type of diseases, you know, and we spread awareness, don't do that prevention, like maybe breast cancer, or maybe osteoporosis in women, whatever it is. But why not to connect to a source where you don't get the diseases? So I really picked up this topic because I feel to prevent the diseases, why to talk about the diseases? We can just prevent it and we can definitely, what she's saying, we can change our genes through yoga. It is all a perception and what she said, I was really thrilled. Like, the brain is not here. The brain is in the gut. Keep your gut clean. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it really is. Breathe into it. Yeah, and detox. Uh, like, I feel the organic way of eating and uh, Ayurvedic way. Like, you know, before 6.30, if you just finish off your meals and have very, very light meal or not even a meal. Like, you can just have water and uh, all because 75% is just water which your body has, you know. So, I think so more, more or less we should have more water and we can have very healthy meals instead of because chemicals in the body, they don't know how to use it and it changes into fat. So that's why that's all the problem. And I'm really, really, very thankful for, to I you, Vanita. And really, this is the kind of awareness as Mrs. India Queen, I want to spread among all the people globally in my nation and uh, to make everybody happy, everybody peaceful and stable. So yes, three cheers for my dear friend Shelly for her finals. Hip hip. Hooray! Thank you so much. Hooray! 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 Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray! Everybody to be fit, healthy and to actually participate in Mrs. India. Anybody can now because actually if you are fit, healthy and uh, you take good decisions in life, you are more stable, you can be a role model to anybody. Type <laughs> out and she is my favorite. Thank you so much, Fire. <laughs> role model रही है especially मेरी मैं हमेशा इसे आठ साल से जानती हूँ और तब से मैं इसे यही बोलती थी कि Shelly I really want you are admirable 
and I want to become like you. Get you. inspired. <laughs> All the best, Sherry. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> We are so lucky to have Sherry in the community. We get so inspiration from her. I mean, I'm seeing her from the last three years. I'm here in the community of the last three years. I get so inspired by you, Shelly. I mean, I don't know what to say about you. She is a complete woman in herself. Whatever. I'm with the pure, I mean, the trust that Shelly will do something. Because she is the best wishing for our family. Happy to have her with us, and a very proud moment, of course. And special thanks to Vanita because it was because of Shelly that we got so much wonderful intellectual and knowledgeable talk from Vanita. We are delighted that Shelly is a resident of our community and we would certainly be proud when she is announced the winner. <laughs>